Hello, my friends. Uh, the most stressful thing about this video is putting in these ear pod things. And I sound different. So it's like, mm. But anyway, that's the most stressful thing. The rest of it, no. <laughs> but I want to tell you about what I'm doing. Because it's, it's kind of weird for me. Maybe not. I don't know. But I think it's what I've been waiting for my whole entire life. I eat meat. That's it. It's awesome. Okay, I eat eggs and I eat meat. And in the first couple of weeks, I would say I was getting my body used to eating this way. Um, so in the beginning, well, I've always been trying to reduce my carbs. Um, so I got rid of vegetables first. And then uh, other carbs, chips, that was the big thing. I had to get rid of the diet soda. So I did a couple of weeks prep before I like started. And then when I started, I hate suffering. I guess that's the bad word for it, but I do hate it. So if I was having a craving for something, like if I was craving something sweet, then I had my cheats that I could, what? I don't even remember what I had. It was chocolate covered pomegranates. It was like huge dark chocolate something. So it was good for me, but it was low sugar, but it was super sweet. And so I allowed myself that. I allowed myself some cheese. And that's basically it. And I drank water, like three liters of water a day, maybe more, because I stopped counting. I get to two. And then I know I'm done. I'm going to get my three. So I stopped counting. So it's all good. Um, why did I do this? Let me tell ya. So I've been working on my digestive system for quite a while. And I didn't know how screwed up it was. But it's pretty screwed up. Um, it's so screwed up. The most exciting thing that I want to tell you is that my poop is almost normal. I am most excited for my bowel movements. Weird, but it's true. Um, so it's fixing my digestive system, doing a whole bunch of different things, trying a whole bunch of different things, and things just kind of were sort of pointing me into this direction, carnivore or the proper human diet. Um, like it, I was, I created my own yogurt. I was making my own yogurt. I ordered specific probiotics for this yogurt. So I did like a month of cleaning the bad bacteria out of my gut. But it's yogurt. So the dairy, it was horrendous. And I put berries in it. Um, and I found that it was not torture, but it was, I knew that I was going to be uncomfortable once I ate the yogurt. And it was only half a cup. It was half a cup a day. That's it. And I put like a quarter of a cup of berries in there. Anyway, so I knew it, I was going to be uncomfortable every time I did this. But I'm like, I'm doing it for a month. That's just what I'm doing. So now I went through my month and then I was like, I got to cut everything out except meat and eggs. Um, and I feel like this has been, this is... This is what I needed my whole entire life, and I finally figured it out at 52. Doesn't take me long. Anyway, so normal poop. Okay, so because I didn't know. I hear people telling stories, like, you know, Dr. Oz and whatever, what, the, what your ideal poop should be. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen for me. Most of the time I was constipated. If I wasn't constipated, I had diarrhea. And once in a while, in the in-between, you might get a decent poop but it wasn't even right because you're supposed to eat food and then 20 minutes later you're supposed to poop or you wake up in the morning and you poop those things are happening now super stoked anyway so it did take me a while to balance my electrolytes and um, so it gives you headaches and things and so I finally got that figured out here's what here's I'm pooping better I feel good. My brain is clearer. More energy. I do sleep better. 
I feel better. I should I should wear my watch and prove it. Um, Cause normally I'm like in the in the 60s, 70s. I don't know if I've ever hit 80 on my on my Fitbit. Uh, cravings. Remember, I was the first couple weeks. I said that I was allowing myself like if I was having these crazy cravings, they're gone. I don't crave anything sweet. I smelled donuts. It made me hungry, but not for sweets. No sweets. Don't care. Don't care. I lost five pounds. That's supposed to happen. Um, and there's no more bloating. Like, it took a long time for... I didn't even know how bloated I was. It was awesome. This is awesome. Um, what else? I tell people... That's why I'm doing this video because I'm so excited. I go to the grocery store to go grocery shopping. Maybe 10 minutes. Because I just go buy the meat that's on sale. Or I make sure I have bacon. Or I make sure I have sausage. I go buy eggs and I'm out. There's no coordinating. There's no coordinating. I still kind of meal plan because I stuff has to be defrosted so I could cook it. That's my meal planning. Um, and I just make sure there's lots of choices because I don't want to eat just steak. I want steak and I want two flavors. Um, so cooking is easier. I can cook a bunch of stuff in advance, put it in the fridge, done. Um, I don't need to coordinate like are the vegetables and the potato and the meat all going to be done at the same time and be a crazy person getting a meal on the table. Gone. Gone. It's amazing. I should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't know. And I had to do my research. I had to watch videos. I had to read books. I had to do my due diligence. And I'm giving it 60 days minimum. Let's see what happens. I don't know. This is so awesome that I have to tell people about it. It's been about 15 days. Now my digestive system was all screwed up. And I know it was, um, and I just proved it to myself again because they say that because um, you go into ketosis because you're not eating carbs, right? But switching over to no fiber, so your body collects water um, to help the fiber move through your system. There's no fiber. So you're supposed to go through, they say, about a week of diarrhea and like, Diarrhea, preemptive pooping is, is suggested, but I would say it took longer than that for me because, because my digestive system was not functioning properly. So I think I had to fix some things and then normal pooping is coming my way. <laughs> anyway, I am enjoying the sleep. The sleep is good too. If it wasn't for the mosquito bites, yeah. And I get a little insomnia when I when I get into ketosis, so that happened. Um, but I'm not tired. I'm just not sleeping. Uh, but now I'm sleeping, and it's good. It's good. So in case you didn't read it or hear it, uh, it's the carnivore diet, um, or some people call it the proper human diet because that's how the caveman survived. Yeah, meat, eating fat, that fat, yeah. I, th that was an adjustment. I had to put more fat into my diet. Butter, more bacon grease. I keep a jar of bacon grease on the counter. There you go. And I make sure I eat my eggs, eat my eggs, because they've got fat in them as well. So there you go. So if you're interested, let me know. And, um, I'll keep giving you updates to see how it's going. I don't know. I love meat. I love meat. It's amazing.